Shalva was founded in June 1990, but its roots go back to 1977 when my and my wife Malki's son, Yossi, was injured by a routine vaccination in Jerusalem, which as a result, he became blind, deaf, and acutely hyperactive. We struggled raising Yossi, and many good friends and professionals suggested that we move Yossi out of the home so that we can care for our other children, but we decided not to. Malki always said we didn't find Yossi in the corner store, and she often cried and prayed to God that if he ever decided to help Yossi, she would dedicate herself to helping other families with their challenged children. Little did we dream that at the age of eight, Yossi would have the Helen Keller breakthrough in which he received language and speech totally unexpectedly. And at that time, Malki turned to me and said, it's payback time, God has helped, and we established Shalva. היה לי מאוד קשה להתחבר לרפאל בהתחלה. וכשהגעתי לכאן, הסתכלו על רפאל וקיבלו אותו כבן אדם, הסתרתי אותו כי התביישתי בו מוהר עוד. דרך שלווה התחברתי לרפאל. דרך שלווה למדתי לאהוב את רפאל. אני חושבת שזה היה בפעם הראשונה שנכנסתי איתו לבריכה על המים, ופתאום uh, התחברתי אליו. שם גיליתי שוואלה, זה הבן שלי, ואת תהיי איתו, ואת תלכי איתו הכל. רפאל, היום זו המתנה הכי גדולה שקיבלתי. Shalva began with a goal to help not only children with challenges, but their parents, and to enable them to have a quality life together with their other children. I am sure that it is also the children of the children, and also the children of the children. Shalva gives us more time, it is a good thing for the family. We don't have a family with five children. We have a family with a lot of children. The essence of Shalva is hope. Nothing is impossible here. Everything is possible. And that is the message that we convey to all. We recognize that health is not always in our hands, but hope is. We color their world with hope. And it is the power of hope that leads us to achieve so much more in all of their lives. כואב לי על המשפחות שלא נהנו כמונו. זה נתן לנו כל כך הרבה, ואני יודעת שיש משפחות שאין להן. ואני יודעת שכמה מאות אנשים מחכים. There are hundreds of children waiting to get into our programs, and it is that pain, and it's those phone calls that I cannot answer, that has moved me and my wife Malki to go to the step of creating and building a far larger 180,000 square foot center in the heart of Jerusalem with six acres of parks available to the public so that challenged and non-challenged children will play together and thereby will create a healthier, warmer society. כל מי שיש לו ביקורת על מדינת ישראל, שיבוא כאן ויראה את ישראל האחרת. ישראל האצילה ביותר, האוהבת ביותר, האכפתית ביותר. אני גאה להשתייך בישראל כזאת. יחד לב אל לב נפתח בתקווה לאהבה שהלב נפתח Shalva organization brings help and hope to all parts of our society. And the true moral test of any people, of any society, is how it takes care of the weaker links. And I think that you contribute mightily by helping children and young people 
to realize the potential inside them, to realize that each has a soul, and to realize that each deserves respect and the ability to contribute from herself or himself uh, for their own betterment and for the betterment of society. Shalva is a home. Shalva is a home for all who come in its doors. Shalva is a family, and it's not easy to maintain that, but that is the goal. Thank God to date we've succeeded, and I hope and I pray as we grow, we will always succeed in that. Yeah.